Nerd Soul. Yeah, late ill kid at one yourself holding it down, bring you that street geeky nerd soul. What is up? We got something special today. I'm so happy this show is gonna be dope. That's right, because we bring into you the one and only the sword and soul. All right, Changa and the Jade Obelisk. We got the team here, right over here. We got, of course, Jason Reeves, right over here. Your homeboy for every media Milton dates up in this piece. Look, brothers, how you doing? How you doing? Good, man. Real good. Real good. Yeah, doing good. All right. Good. All right. Working it out. Now, um, since we're launching today, you know, the book's here. But we already got issue number one. I, I got issue number one. We read it. The Kickstarter was successful. It was a lot of fun. Real quick, Milton, since this is from your creation, Give people an idea of what Changa is. Well, Changa is, um, just being straight up, Changa is a action adventure series based on a, a, a Changa is actually a, a, um, a deposed prince who ends up in, Swa in uh, Swahili cities. This takes place in mm -hmm. the 15th century. And because of his circumstances and because of his uh, ambition to go back home and reclaim his kingdom, he goes on this adventure. He goes on this uh, safari, and we use the, we use the word the safari in a proper term. He goes on this journey, and his journey encompasses you know from going from East Africa throughout Asia and then coming back to the interior of Africa. And, and I wanted to write this story because I wanted to show a part of African history that we don't really think about a lot. A lot. And I wanted to show you know the Swahili as they were, as you know, these guys were like world, world ranging adventurers and stuff like that. And so I wanted to do that from a historical st standpoint, but I also wanted to throw some fantasy in there because I, I just like fantasy. So the fantasy mm -hmm. is like, uh, <laughs> I mean, the fantasy is based on the different countries and histories and stuff like that. So I think it's a, it's, it was the second series that I wrote. Um, it was a fun series. It's, I wanted it to be about fun and adventure and stuff like that. And, and that's what Chunga's all about. That's what it's about, fun and adventure and a little bit of history thrown in there as well. Nice, nice. So on the other side, you know, you're, you're coming from, you know, from the novel side over to the comic book side. We got 133 Art, we got Jason Reeves. Putting this together, the first issue was striking, vibrant, great colors. We'll talk about it in a second. Is the same team back? Same team back. Same team, but um, we got Robert Jeffrey scripting mm -hmm. and writing. Uh, we got Matteo Illuminati. It's just, I mean, you know, you know what he does. Man. Like, Homie's nice. I mean, speaks for itself, right? Like for real. Like um, we got Loris Ravina on the colors, uh, doing his thing, colors and letters, by the way. Ah, um, okay, okay. Reading logos and you know doing. Uh, interior cover page art, uh, uh, letter art. I mean, the team is back. We do have an added secret member. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Will, secrets that, are good. You know, secrets are good. Well, technically it's not a secret. So if it's launch day, <laughs> you're gonna know who it is. So uh, I, I'm just gonna go ahead on and reveal it. Um, our secret member, our alternate cover artist is mm -hmm. one of my big faves, um, Massimiliano, um, let, me, let me make sure I don't butcher his last name, Veltri. <laughs> Massimiliano Veltri. Okay, okay. So, alternate cover artist. So y'all got something hot for the Kickstarter cover? Oh, we got something hot for the Kickstarter yeah. cover. All right. It, it's a hot cover. Too. So, we know we got a special cover. People are coming back. They already got issue number one. They enjoyed it. We'll get into the stuff that went on then, but what can the people expect to get? Like the levels, what's going to be there? What can they get? I already know the hoodie is there because you got the hoodie. So what else can hoodie. people, what else will people be getting in this Kickstarter? We're going to have uh, some Shang and the Jade Obelis uh, t-shirts. We're going to have a choice of two. Um, there's actually another hoodie. So you oh, got a choice of two hoodies. You got a you got a Bahati uh, hoodie, and you have a Changa, right? Chonga. And and Bahati, you know, she she actually has Panya on the arm, so mm. it's, it's it's a hot it's a hot uh, item. Um, what else are we gonna have? We have a couple audio, a few audio books uh, for your listening pleasure. 
Oh. Um, from the MVPD catalog. Um, you know, uh, alternate cover. We're gonna have oh, a, a, a kind of cool item is if we can pull this off properly, you're gonna be able to have your own Jade Optics. Yeah. Not mad at that. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. mad at that. It'd be yeah. nice for the yeah. desk. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, you know, as always, we have our retailer bundles for the retailers, so you can get ten copies of each uh, issue. Um, definitely hit up the retailer, uh, um, the retailer uh, tier, and uh, we have Sword and Soul bundle, which is ah. what the thing we did for the last uh, Kickstarter. So it's gonna be a few titles from Black Comics, Sword, Sword and Soul fantasy type deals. Um, we also have what we always do, especially here at 133 Art, uh, <laughs> Black Comics Bundle, right? Um, nice, so nice. the all-stars of Black Comics coming through with their newest, hottest things, and you're going to be able to cop those as well. We're also experimenting with packaging. So we're doing collective boxes. Now, this is not the final but it okay. is one of our prototypes, right? So you're going to be able to open that thing up and you're going to have your comics and your T-shirts and your hoodies and you're going to have a commemorative collector's item trying to get a Jade Obelisk box. So that's what's, we have some up. That's what's stuff up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. On to the, back to the story, Milton, when, when you're coming into kind of like Continuing on, you did an issue one, you're continuing on. How is it going from just the written word itself to actually seeing it drawn out, acted out, placed, things like that? Is it something that's like, oh, maybe it should stay written or are you like really loving how it's being presented? Oh, I, I love how it's being presented. I mean, um, the way I imagine it, I always see my stuff as visual, you know, I almost mm. write my books like movies and stuff kind of way. So to me to see it, you know, see, to see it like this is the ultimate thing. Um, actually, Jason and, and their team, they took it to another level. You know, I'm old school. I'm thinking, you know, like, you know, old Conan type artwork and stuff like that. And then when Jason <laughs> started throwing these pages at me, I'm like, I had to sit back for a minute because wow. I, I was like, this is a whole nother direction and stuff, but I had to kind of get used to it. And when I saw it and the more I looked at it, I was like, man, this is really, this is this is hot right now. This is this yeah, is the process. <laughs> yeah, I had to process it. Exactly. I had to sit there. I needed a moment <laughs> when I saw it and stuff. You know? But I mean, everything I everything that Jason and Robert and, and Loris and and everyone that has done has been great. And every time I see more images from it, it's, it, it just takes it to another level. Um, I love the way the story is being interpreted. One of the good things about taking it to visual interpretation is that I get a chance to go back and look at the story again mm. and look at stuff that I may, I may have written back a few years ago. You know, I started this I started this whole series like over 10 years ago. Uh, and, okay, okay. So I get a chance to go back and look at these characters again and say, you know what? Maybe this would have been better if we had done it like this, or or maybe this would have been you know a, a lot more subdued if we had done it like that. So that's that's the thing I really like. It gives me a second chance to go back and and rethink things and revise things, and you know, and when you have more people in the mix, you know, talking with Jason and talking with Robert and looking at what Mateo is doing, you know, it just makes it a, a, a stronger a stronger story to me. So I'm I'm having a ball with it, man. <laughs> All right, and. To strengthen the story, I'll throw this out. You know, either of you can, uh, I want both of you to answer, but either of you can start. Um, when it comes to the strength of the story, I, I assume that that is indicative of the collaboration that's going on. Can you speak to the collaboration, how it is, how frequent it is, how, you know, maybe grading it might be, or how, you know, <laughs> happy it might be, you know, the, the ins and outs of like, you know, throwing words this way, that way, texting, emailing, all of that good stuff. Um, I can speak to it a little bit. Um, we <laughs> Milton and I are constantly in communication like every day. If mm -hmm. not every day, every other day. We always shoot messages back and forth. You know, as some of y'all might know, we we also run uh black indie comics distro together. We're partners in that whole endeavor. So we're constantly in communication. 
Um, our Facebook DMs is just lit up all, <laughs> all day and night long. Um, so yeah, nah, I, I, the reason I continue to work with Milton on several different projects and this team in particular on several different projects is because it's one of, it's one of the most joyous collaborative efforts, um, that I've been involved in. Like this team nice. is so on point with everything, man, from they're they're fast, they're good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They, 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 and 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 they know how to convey a story, and and then everybody's individual talents punch it up. Like we get scripts That's back from from Robert, and they're punchy already. They're good. They're fast paced. You know what I'm saying? Filled with action and stuff. And then we we get that off to Mateo, and the pages come back, and we're like, oh, like we got to <laughs> add more for Mateo to do, like. So and then Loris comes in with the color art and with the letter art. Oh man. man. The letter art. I, I mean, look at the logo, man. I mean, dude came through. We needed to get another version of the same logo when we first started. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, I'm illustrating myself, a little bit of a graphic designer, and I was kind of pulling my hair out like, man, how do I, you know, how do I redo this and make it great, you know? And uh, okay. uh, Loris was like, man, I got you. I got you. And and I'm talking about two days later, we had the logo that exists today. So mm. uh, this team works so well with each other, man, that, I, you know, I mean, what we have, like two more issues left? I don't know, man. We might have to do a <laughs> Changa part two, part three. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But um, nah, man. The collaborative effort is constant. Um, Robert is is always like he's a writer, so he has to go off for a little while and do his thing. But mm -hmm. when he comes back, it's bam, 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 and the community. No, we uh, let me tell you, some creative teams be on each other. You know what I'm saying? We interviewed a couple <laughs> for the rent party, but like, yo, we it, it's so smooth working in this particular uh, uh collaborative space man i can't say enough about it nice nice Milton. yeah I, I would say um i would just you know second whatever everything jason is saying you know we communicate all the time i knew jason for a long time um knew robert for a long time um i had been uh, pulling my hair out trying to figure out how i was going to do this china thing and then i just one day just said why am I doing this? Let me just get it to Jason. <laughs> you know, Jason does this all the time, you know. So well, let's give Jason some extra work. <laughs> hey, exactly. I said, Jason could do this. <laughs> you know? So, you know, we talked about it. And like I said, man, he brought it. The whole team has been bringing it. And and it's like he says, man, it's, you know, Jason's one of the easiest people in this industry to work with. You know, and and that's saying, and that's saying a lot because I've worked with a lot of people in this industry. <laughs> you know, that's what's up. And, and myself, I can be difficult too. But, but Jason, I think Jason brings out the best in everybody. And he's a good person. He's a good manager of different people. And then, and because he has that artistic, you know, sense, and like you said, the, the graphic design sense, you know, he's able to take everything that everybody's doing it and bring it together and and know what to emphasize, what to pull back on. So it's just a great coll collaboration, man. I couldn't have it any better. And like Jason says, you know, you know, honestly. You know, between the four Changa Safari books, we could be doing this for 30 years if we wanted to. But it's like, you know, it's, it's fun just seeing every book come out. And, you know, as we as we go work through this one, I can't wait to, you know, get this one done so we can look at it doing another one. But yeah, it's, it's great, man. It's great. All right. That's good to hear because I do want to see more. Now, since we are seeing more in issue two for this Kickstarter, Without any spoilers, we, we leave off of issue one and there's boats on the way. There's a whole bunch of magic going on. Panya is about to power up. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, can, where can readers expect to go uh, from the end of the first issue? The, in general. <laughs> um... <laughs> So one of my one of my things with Changa was to make his 
sort of base of operations is sort of that cave, if you will, descended okay. by the sort of like a, a character itself in the story. So we spend a good bit of time in this issue on the boat um, and just watching the crew do their thing and watching how Changa directs his crew. You know, we really wanted to speak to the merchant trader part of this, uh, okay. this issue. And we really wanted to speak to Changa being the captain, being the boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, man the whatevers and tie up this rope and all that, you know? Um, I don't know shipping terms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about sailing. My point is, <laughs> we wanted to show Changa in his natural element and, and how he and, and how he interacts on the Cinderbada with the Tureg and with Panya and just the entire crew. So there's, there's there's a good bit of time spent there. And then we wanted to take it, take them to the adventure, man. So they're sailing to a destination. They get to these destinations and it goes down. You know what I'm saying? Without yeah. like without putting a very too, a very fine point on what goes down <laughs> it goes down right? yeah i mean like, you can see from the cover there are there are hyena men on this yeah it, it's mean, not it doesn't look like a happy time <laughs> my girl ain't floating down for her health she's floating down to get rid of somebody else's health you see, you feel me like it's, it's it's going down but um we also delve into bahati a little bit more and uh, we see the sinisterness, man. We see that glimmer in her eye that says, I'm trying to run all this. So um, mm. that's where we go. Okay, okay. Good. So all in all, when it comes to Changa, what I've, what I've seen is kind of like when I said, uh, when we reviewed before, I really liked the way the art came together. The story is fun. It is fast paced the way we start out. Um, the whole idea of being kind of like sword and soul is something that grabbed me because on the other side, we'll just say on the other side, sword and sandal has always been boring to me. Been boring. But sword and soul, I was like, I was like, hold up now. I was like your boy saying, it was like, I see. I see why the, if women are like this, I see why they're covered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, if, if this period was dope like this, I see why people are excited. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Because we out here sailing, seafaring, we're brothers and sisters. <laughs> it, it, it does change, it really does change the the whole landscape of it and putting us inside of those stories. Because we know, like you said, from a historical standpoint, yes. We were seafaring way before people act like we were. <laughs> there's, there's literal documented proof throughout South America and things of that nature of dark-skinned people or negros that came over <laughs> way before discoverers came over. Then Ben came went back. <laughs> so, so. I do like adding that little piece of history and the fantasy part. Uh, when it comes to Changa as, I guess, these books progress, I do have a question for you guys. Are you planning on doing, like, a collected edition of all four? Because for my own <laughs> selfish reasons, I enjoy collected editions. I enjoy hardcovers, things of that nature. You know, it, it, is there a possibility in the far off future where, where a brother can get his hands on a hard cover of that Changa? Not that far. I mean, I think, oh, I right? think it's a, yeah, I think it's a foregone conclusion. Yo, if, if we make enough money during this Kickstarter, I could get it the next Kickstarter. I mean, you heard that, y'all? Y'all heard that? Give us some money. But, yeah. um, nah, real talk, um, I'm a big fan of collected editions as well. And I'm a big fan of collected editions that give you more. You know, like mm -hmm. there's there's so much. I love when I get a collected edition. I don't just have the run, but then I have like uh, uh, 
your rather behind the run, maybe an extra story, you know, some character designs, some nice. script pages, you know, uh, other covers, all that stuff collected in one volume uh, and, a, and a nice hardcover or a nice digital hardcover uh, <laughs> as well. Um, I, I, I love that. I love that. I love reading um, what I love, but getting more for my buck. So I'm all about that. So once it's time, you know, and we'll run a, we'll probably run a Kickstarter for it. Um, and we'll give you the big guy with the more stuff and the, and you know, and everything, all of the extra trinkets and whatnot. Maybe a six scale figure. I don't know. I don't know what we gonna do. Oh. Yeah. That's what, that's what's up. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Dude. That's what's up maybe right there'll now. be another. Maybe there'll be another Changa novel by that time that we could ah. package it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with, with that said, I think we've put some more work back on Milton and some <laughs> further work back on Robert Mateo. I don't know if they know yet, but we don't put some work on them. Um, Yo, I'm trying to serve it up. <laughs> they serve it on me. I'm trying to serve it right back. <laughs> Um, so with that said, I don't want to hold you guys too long. Thank you for rolling through. Before we get out of here, I'll start with Milton. Milton, uh, any final words for the Kickstarter, any supporters, and where can they find you? Well, hey, for, as far as the Kickstarter is concerned, you know, hey, y'all, make your pledges. You know, this is a great book coming out. You know, the more we the more we do, the more we're going to do. <laughs> so, hey, this support. That's what's support up. It. They get it going as far as I'm concerned. You can find me at uh, mvmediaatl.com. Uh, that's my publishing company. Uh, all my books are there. Um, all the Changa Safari novels are there. So if you want to get ahead of us, you can go there and check them out. You know, and then you'll know what's coming down the road. And then you'll probably, you know, empty your bank account with me. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a hot book. You know, get ready for it. Check us out. All right, Jason. Um, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Any final <laughs> words for the Kickstarter Please? supporters? <laughs> nah, um, we appreciate you. Uh, we definitely appreciate you guys from the last campaign. We hope that you transfer over, you know, come see what we're doing over here. Um, we're trying to make black uh, consumables, man, black comics, black merchandise, man. And hopefully, uh, later on, animation, um, I don't know uh, what, at the time of this taping, what stretch goals we're going to have, but we do have a Changa animation in the works, and uh, mm. I think it would be really cool if we made enough money to produce more of it. Um, on the page, there'll be pic pics of that, so you can check it out, see what's going on. Um, but yeah, we, um, we want to do more stuff more black centered stuff you know if you know anything about 133 art you know that's what i'm about and um yeah man just just give man feed the kids man do it for the children Yo. right like uh, uh changa is for the kids MV media is for the children mv media is for the children so uh yeah man um we appreciate any any backers we get we love y'all uh, get you some Christmas gifts because it's around Christmas time. Black yep. Friday, Hot Kickstarter has all the deals. And uh, you can find me at the hub, 133art.com, at 133art on all social media. Um, we got a new page actually on Facebook, 133art uh, Publishing. So go like that. Um, we're moving from the 133art proper page. And you can find us at bigdistro.com because we yeah. are distributing yeah. black comics, right? Shout out to Black Star uh, Collectibles, two shops. Oh, yes. In less than two years, they're doing their thing. Um, shout out to Fion. Um, But yeah, man, we're uh, we're trying to make it happen, man. Like we, we wanna we wanna be able to continue to produce these books, and we wanna be able to continue to pay our <clears throat> uh, our our team, man. Um, that's one of the biggest things. The team got to get paid for their work. So got to get the cash. Yeah. Got to get the dough. 
Yo, man, pass that collection plate and around. Get and that don't he- yeah, and don't hesitate to tell your friends and family to come holler at us, man. Look, I'm Thank doing you. this thing. Also, commemorative boxes, collectors' boxes, man. Uh, we, we experimenting around here. Let's go. Come on, y'all. Come on. Now, Ooh. I guess I'll end this off with saying all these Kickstarters is good Kickstarters. All right. <laughs> but Changa, Changa's for the children. All right. That's all I'm Jeez. saying. So, with that said, guys, thank y'all for rolling through. N E R D S O U L. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the deal. And until next time, when you have already pledged some money to get that Kickstarter from Changa, unless you were just saying, peace. Peace. Mm. We out.